Hi everyone, my name is Rachel, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is where I make scrapbooking process videos, and also do live scrap and chats every month. I hope you enjoy my little corner of the big crafty world, and if you'd like to watch more, please subscribe to my channel, and click on the notification bell to always know when I have a new video. If you could also give me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Alright everyone, let's start scrapping! Hi everyone, I'm here today and I am actually going to be making a two-page layout. Now I don't have necessarily the exact same sizes of the photos that are in this sketch. This is a, I think it's a page map sketch. This is for the uh, National Scrapbook Day crop at My Little Scrapbook Store. Uh, the challenges are good until May 31st, so you've got a little while to join in. I will put the links to the online crop group on Facebook. And you can enter any of the challenges. They do need to be new layouts, so nothing you have created like previously. Um, obviously, you probably wouldn't do that with a sketch, but hey. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go ahead and do this. I've pulled some Pretty Little Studio Document Life papers and then a bunch of different stars. And a, I do have one camera. I don't know if I'll end up using that. Some flare and some labels and I've so it's one of those layouts where I have five photos and if I try to do it on a one page layout it just wasn't going to work out so I decided to go ahead and do two pages so I'm going to go ahead get you guys put on fast forward before I do just a reminder if you could flick me a thumbs up that would be super awesome so let's get going All right, so I'm just moving my embellishments over to the side. A couple things about this. First, I was doing a Zoom crop with some friends, so I had to edit quite a bit out. Uh, so hopefully there, I didn't miss anything and there aren't too many, there aren't any dead spots, but there may be one or two and I, I do apologize for that. Second, this is one where I had five photos originally. I'm going to not use one photo. One of the three by fours is actually just a picture of my um, program from the uh, orientation. That's what this is about, my nephew's uh, college orientation. So I'm just taking a look at the sketch again, seeing where the photo lies. Because the main photo, the one that's a four by six portrait, my nephew is looking to the left. I didn't want to put that um, on the other side because he would have been looking out of the layout. So I wanted to make sure that that photo was on the right hand side. So now I'm just cutting out this triangle paper and that's what I'm going to use as the main chunk of paper that's over on the right hand side. It's a floral paper in the sketch, but I went for a more graphic look considering the subject. As I was saying, originally I had five photos, um, but I did cut it down to four. Even so, if I had tried to do this as a one page layout, I, I would have just had a lot of photos and not much to embellish or for the title or any of that. So when I decided to go for a two page layout, I went ahead and got, um, sorry, I lost track of my thoughts there. So any, what I was saying was uh, originally I had picked another uh, line to do this layout with, but when I realized that when I put the photos down, uh, I was like, oh, there is like no room on this. I changed my mind and I picked out these pretty little studio papers instead. Now I will say, these have a slight shine to them. Um, so obviously they were a small batch print, which is fine. It's not my favorite type of paper, but at least they're thick and the colors are lovely. Um, as I was rambling on about changing papers, I did use my Stampin' Up! Border Punch to uh, cut a scallop into uh, one of the papers. And now I'm going to proceed to several times mess this up. First, what I did was I glued it to that bigger chunk of paper, which is actually the part that goes horizontally under the majority of photos. Then I realized that no, this needs to go on the smaller piece of paper that goes over on the left hand side. And now I've realized that I put the tape on the wrong side and I need to peel the entire row of glue off. I mean, that's the good thing about having an ATG. If you get it quickly, you can um, uh, roll it off. So I was able to do that. So I'm finally going to go ahead, put glue on the correct side, <laughs> and then I will be ready to go and 
go ahead and uh, glue that scallop piece onto the, of course I get a little glue on the outside of that and I have to rub that off. It, it was a hot mess going on for this particular section of the layout. I do manage to get it all off and everything's good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and glue that piece of paper down to the left-hand side and Yay, look at me gluing paper down. What a concept in scrapbooking. All right. Um, sorry for the ums in this one. I, As I said, I had to cut a lot of this out and I'm just concerned I'm going to have dead space and then I have to talk. And obviously I don't have a problem talking. <laughs> it's just like I'm so concerned that I'm going to have to fill dead air where I'm not doing anything um, that I, I keep. I'm like stressed out about this this voiceover which I've done hundreds of but whatever so now you do note that the circles in one of my papers goes in one direction and then it goes in the other direction um, but for me to have this horizontally it needed to be in this direction it didn't fill the same space um, vertically so you know, there isn't anything I can do about it. I hope it's not super noticeable. It, it's not even something I noticed until I was re-watching the video to edit it. So hopefully it's not something anyone else notices either. Same thing, I would have preferred to have the um, chunk of paper with the triangles going vertically rather than horizontally, but I cut it before I thought of that. So um, just trimming off that paper was just slightly longer than my cardstock was cut to. So now I can go ahead and get the other circular piece um, glued down as well. I already have the glue on it because I forgot that I had to glue the triangle paper down first. And uh, so I'd already put glue on that, the circle stripe paper, which is a weird type of thing to say. So now I'm going to go ahead and get this portrait four by six put down. And then I start with the three by four um, so it's all lined up at the bottom and then now I'm going to take the rest of this triangle paper and I'm going to cut the banner piece that's over on the left hand side in the sketch. Now I would have actually liked to have used the diagonal stripe paper on this but I didn't want to have all that turquoise on the left hand side. I also didn't want to have the diagonal stripe um, competing with the horizontal stripe. And I also wanted to bring the multicolor from the right hand side over into the left hand side. But for those of you who have been my subscribers, you do know I love a good diagonal stripe and all diagonal stripes are good. So there you go. I did go ahead and cut a banner into that. I have to do that off screen because I have to do it close to my body. Um, I have to lock my elbows in by my side so I don't, I don't know, end up stabbing myself in the face with scissors accidentally. So I go ahead and, oh, let me tell you about this um, portrait, not portrait, um, this landscape photo. Um, so my nephews, these are all of the kids that were in the, uh, oh, it's an overnight orientation which we all thought was funny because my nephew is a commuter student. But um, if you're not an adult um, returning for, if you're an adult returning for um, education, you don't have to do this overnight. Um, but anyone who's coming in as a, a freshman who, who've ne who's never been to college before, you do have to do this. And um, they got them all together and then took their picture by drone. I can actually find my nephew in there, like the top of his head. I recognize his hairstyle. Um, but I, I didn't, like, I could have, like, put something on there to indicate him. But I didn't think that was super important. I just, um, and they put this up on their Facebook page. So I grabbed it off of there. So I've got all my photos put down now, and I, I like the way this looks. I normally am not a huge fan of four photos on a double page, um, but with this sketch, I liked it. Because I had two four by sixes, I thought it worked out. Um, so what I did was I went over to my stash and I grabbed this washi tape. I want to say this is Bella Boulevard. Um, they just have multicolor plus signs on it. And I just gonna go ahead and snip that where the two pages um, meet up on the washi tape so I don't have my pages connected. And uh, in the sketch, there was a piece 
underneath and that's what I'm using the washi tape for. Now I also grabbed that flare and it has a clock on it and to me it's just like you know time is flying, time is moving. I go and grab a dimensional so it will be popped up and then I'm thinking where I want to put this ampersand. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I love an ampersand. In fact, in the video you guys are going to see on Saturday, I will also be using an ampersand. <laughs> so anytime there's more than one person in a photo is a time to use an ampersand. I also have these labels from Felicity. No, sorry, not Felicity. Freckled Fawn. And what I'm doing is I'm tucking, I'm ripping them in half and then I'm tucking them underneath over on the left hand side and that's where my journaling is going to live. Um, originally I had thought to do like a whole bunch, but then I <laughs> I was having trouble because I put the glue too close to the, to the edge of that banner piece and trying to pry it up to get the labels under was like annoying me. Um, so, but I end up deciding to add two of the labels over on the right hand side and then that will be the home where I put my ampersand. So I was happy with that. But before I put the ampersand down, I do pull out these chipboard Ellie Studio stars and uh, little phrase stickers and I'm going to use those as well. So I add that white one with the blue outline and then I add that green uh, phrase chipboard sticker. Oh my goodness, I thought I was going to sneeze. I apologize for that. And then I'm right now I am pulling off the backing for the ampersand which also has stars on it. So I thought that was really cool because I'm using the star chipboard paint chipboard stickers and then I'm also going to pull in some star wood veneer so I've got like a nice star theme and you know it was kind of a star day uh you know my nephew was super excited we learned a lot about just different things we didn't know about necessarily um regarding different tricks and how to do certain things and stuff like that my nephew was I don't know if any of you have been to a college orientation I assume some of you have um but the adults and the teenagers have different um tracks so we did stuff more geared towards parents it was funny because some of the parents were like wait what <laughs> so um, and the kids and we met up for lunch and then we went back and did our thing and then he stayed overnight and he had a second day whereas we did not. So I am using my T-square ruler to line up the first word which is orientation and then I'm going to do the second word on the photo. Now when I put this C down, I don't know what I was thinking. I went back and fixed it afterwards. Uh, the good thing is it was on paper and not on the photo. These are the Simple Stories foam alphas. Uh, if you put them on a photo, they do not come off. So when you misspell college and put the L down to the next to the E, you have to scrape it up, uh, sacrifice that L, L thicker, and then carefully place the G, uh, <laughs> even though it's slightly too close to that last E, and you have to just have, live with it. And if you're wondering how I know, I don't think I really need to go any further. I added a couple more of the chipboard stars and phrase stickers uh, next to the title, as well as over by the ampersand. I then glued down the star wood veneer. That is super old from Studio Calico. I bought probably 10 years ago, not even joking. And I am just going to do my journaling now. The label stickers did not want to stick down to the shiny paper. So I did end up, after I turned the camera off, I did end up going back and um, adding some liquid glue because it, I was just concerned they would pop out. Now I'm doing my journaling and I'm just basically saying what I said before, which was, you know, we had a good time. We learned a lot of things. It was super hot. That is one thing. It was really hot. And it was like, it was not summer, summer. Um, I don't remember exactly when this is. I have to look it up under my photos, but I'm just showing my friends in the crop, my layout. I had to move my water for that. And now I am going to say goodbye. Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me. And if you could flick me a thumbs up, that would be super awesome. Thanks everyone. Bye.